Hello. Thank you so much for the beautiful introduction. Firstly, how many of you here use electric vehicles for your regular commute? Or have you ever tested electric vehicles? All right, that's a good number. Imagine a world where everything around you moves over electric vehicles with zero pollution, zero noise, and zero combustion. Yes, it's a far reality, but how do we achieve it sooner? I'm Srikant Reddy Kalakonda. I'm building a platform where we are giving accessibility for the electric vehicles to decarbonize your city. Do you know India stands at the fifth position in the global polluted countries? 21 out of 30 cities in India are mostly polluted. How do we act towards it? You know, it's not a something achievement we need to act towards it, right? 27% of this pollution comes from the vehicles. What are these vehicles? These vehicles that we use for our mobility. What is mobility here? Two scenarios, something that you and me have used to come from your home to Ambitus Global School. For your products, moving from the factory to the warehouse to the nearest warehouse to your house. The first mile, mid mile, and the last mile. Too many legs, too many movement, and a lot of mobility happening, a lot of pollution happening. We need to tackle this. Today, we are staying in a city called Hyderabad, which is fourth most polluted city in India. From after New Delhi, Mumbai, Kolkata. Having seen a staggering growth after Tokyo and Shanghai and Beijing, why are we still facing this problem? We travel for 25 kilometers in one hour. A road that is laid for 45 kilometers per hour speed, we travel for 25 kilometers per hour. Our air quality index is super poor. Don't we feel suffocated in the morning when we go for a jog? How do we decarbonize this? We built an application wherein people can search for the electric vehicles, get the servicing done, get the charging done, everything for an end customer, so that this transition goes smoother. But do you think EVs are the only solution? If you ask me, I would say yes for now. There has been a great research happening in terms of aluminum cell, nickel cobalt cell, sodium ion, a lot of other new technologies coming into place. But where are we leading to? Why is the penetration not happening? Today, we are just 1% converted in the entire uh, population where we, come, we move from combustion engine to an electric vehicle. People regularly ask me a few questions. How long can I go on my electric vehicle? Where can I charge my vehicle? Where do I get insurance? Who is going to share my liabilities, risk on this vehicle? Some people feel we are running a bomb, we are running on a time machine, right? That should not be the case. We need to make this transition happening. So what we thought is we need to integrate it from top to bottom. It's a vertical integration. From the manufacturer, through to the insurer, to the financier, to the end customer, and added to it the services of charging point operators. We bought in the technology like IoT, AI, that is combining together the strengths of data. Right? We know where the vehicle is moving. We know how it is being consumed. We know how it is being charged. So now it makes an accessibility feature for the end customer, and all his doubts are gone. The same particular vehicle can be utilized by anyone as such. It can be shared across as a peer-to-peer -peer network. Right? Example, someone who can afford for an electric vehicle just buys it from the platform. If no, they can just get the hull and they can do a battery swap, which is typically like recharging their uh, battery or kind of fuel, filling their fuel tank, right? On the other hand, there's a lot of data that will help this manufacturer to align your supply chain. Imagine how fruitful or smooth the journey would be. So that is where we bought in the technologies, as I mentioned, IoTs and the AI, and this is enabling a complete transition towards a, uh, the electric vehicles. The journey was not easy. It's been 24 months that we started the show, and we have been doing a lot of things. We started as a micro-mobility service provider to solve the first and last mile mobility, which is like you book a vehicle to your metro, and then from your metro, 
you have your end transit and from your metro to your destination, right? So we tried to do a lot of things, but then the pandemic happened. How do I solve this problem now? One person whom we neglected all the time was a delivery boy, right? They travel for 100, 120 kilometers a day. The food you order, the groceries you order, the e-pharma you order, anything that comes to your doorstep is being delivered by a delivery person. He earns a meager of 20, 25,000 rupees. With the raise of fuel prices, he's looking for an alternative ways of transit. How do I fix it? Then the solution is with me. I have electric vehicles. I have the technology. Why do I not enable these people, right? With 1,333 fleet, we have roamed around 12 million green kilometers, saving around tons of CO2 emissions and thousands of liters of fuel consumption. The delivery partners not just are saving money on their commute, but also are earning 180 hours of month where they can utilize to earn more. The impact that you have created in these people's life is the affordability, the social, the economical status. And something that we're giving back to the community is the environmental benefit that we have done. There is still a long way to go. And there is long things to achieve. And today, I stand still here with my big, hairy, audacious goal of making every mile go electric in India and achieving a net zero emission country by 2030. Thank you so much.